Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to episode 29 of Cuboid Outpost. And um, I found out why my game was so laggy. It's because I didn't have enough RAM allocated to the game. Um, I use GD Launcher and the default on GD Launcher is uh, 4 meg of RAM for the game. And I kind of just left it. I, I didn't really think about it because it was working fine. Once I'm in this world... It's fine, but then when I went outside and it had to generate blocks and stuff, that's when it decided, actually, I don't like this. So, yeah, I feel like a bit of a noob because, you know, I should have known that. But there you go. At least I've known right at the end of the series. <laughs> that's quite funny. Um, right, so. What are we doing today? We are making sweet rolls deliciously creative and I made a start I made all of these bits and we're going to get you know I'm just going to collect the rewards so um yeah it's create I don't like create but we're gonna do it because we're making cakes and it mentions me and I think it would be remiss of I, I would be remiss if I don't actually do this this um this quest line so we're gonna do it so um yeah we have to get all of these things which i have in my inventory and we get these rewards uh do i have them in my inventory no wrong key i did no i still do zinc and stuff stuff i don't know Right, so we need two depots. All right, let's go inside and make those. I have no idea what they do. I'm just going to be following, following the quest line. Uh, did I? No. All right, D-E-P-O-T. Right, two of those. All right, a depot is a work surface that can hold items to be processed or worked on. The design that the engineers have come up with requires a total of three. You need supply two, and we have a spare one, one lying around. Brilliant. All right, next we need sandpaper, and you get some quartz. So we need sandpaper to make polished rose quartz. Uh, sandpaper. Would help if I could actually spell. Oh, I had some because I had to make some for something else. I can't remember what. But there you go. Didn't have to make it. But if you are interested, the recipe is... Is that two words? Sand... Paper. Red sandpaper. Okay. Um, paper and sand. Surprise, surprise. And we get some quartz. And we need rose quartz. Okay, if I remember correctly, you put the sandpaper in your offhand. You hold the... No, that's not it. Nope. How do you do this? I did see how to do it, and it was just like a really weird mechanic. Oh, I don't know. All right. Actually, it might say in the thing, uh, covering nether quartz with redstone dust on a crafting table. Okay, maybe I've missed out a bit. Uh, rose quartz. Oh, I have some. Oh, there you go. Oh, no, it's to polish it. That's what it was. I think to polish it, you have to hold it in your off hand. Yes, you put the sandpaper in your off hand, the rose quartz in your main hand, and you use them to rub them together. I knew there was something to do with your off hand. That's what I remembered. Uh, there you go. Oh, that is just so cool. <laughs> there you go. Polished rose quartz. Oh, we need four. 
All right. Um, uh, rose quartz. We need four. Was it four or six? I can't remember. It might have been six. Yes, it was six. Okay, and we get some brass. Next, we have to make some funnels, brass funnels. Okay, key to the design of the sweet roll factory will be the brass funnels. They work in essentially the same way as andesite funnels, so I don't know how they work either, except that brass funnels can have filters applied to allow specific types of items to pass through them. You still attach them to an inventory the same way, but there's a little slot on them once they have been placed that allow you to put an item to filter on or a filter if you wanted multiple types of items to pass through. And you can use your wrench on it to change the direction of the operation, indicated by a small arrow on top. Okay. So we make four funnels and we get some shafts, a mechanical belt, a gearbox, and a vertical gearbox. Okay. See, I like this. You know, you make something and it will give you more things. But the things that they give you are, you know, useful. All right, we're missing... Electron tube, redstone torch. Don't I have a recipe for redstone torch? Yes. See, this is why I like um, refined storage. Because refined storage will say, this is missing, shift click, or no, control click to get it. All right? And AE2 will not tell you anything's missing and then you have to rely on your memory and if you've been you know if you're doing a lot of stuff or you know whatever you don't necessarily remember that you've already got a recipe for that so you know it's a bit annoying well what we what we missing okay and brass funnels Okay, uh, item trash can. What am I getting those? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, what did I not get from this? Oh. Um, my oh, I can pick. Curious ring, speed, plus speed and armor, uh, negates four damage, sounds good. Grants immunity to most negative status effects. Uh, Mets color dragon scale, ring, ring of free action. Grants immunity to slowness and levitation, and three, no. Stat, oh, I've got one of those, stack upgrade tier four. Those are brilliant because then you can have like thousands of stuff in one stack. Or creative ability. Hmm. I think the jump height and fall damage. That's what I miss the most. So there you go. Right. Um. Yeah. What was all that other stuff that it was saying that I got? Because I don't think there's a creative tab. But anyway. Um. Right. We're getting sidetracked. I'm getting sidetracked. I'm always getting sidetracked. Okay. Oh, here. Okay. A shoot. These are the items you'll need for step. Oh, dear. I'm too quick on the draw. Step one. You'll also need 10 building blocks plus 26 for later and a small cogwheel and a hand crank. All right. 10 building blocks. So 36 building blocks. Small cog wheel and a hand crank. All right, now what was, oh no. So we need a shoot. All right. 
and we need 36 building blocks. I think we'll just get um some cobble. Uh, half a stack is 32. Three, four, five, six. Go to, oh, is it night time? Are there sleeping bags in this? I meant to find out. No. It's only a bed. All right, never mind. All right, let's go out of the front. Go to this thing and make some cobble bricks. Uh, cobblestone bricks. Oh, that was probably in the mob farm. There you go. <laughs> I was wondering why did it stop so abruptly? But yeah, that had to be in the mob farm. Right. Um, oh, I hate those doors doing that. It's annoying. And what was the other thing it said we wanted? We should have, maybe. Um, a small cogwheel and a hand cr crank. All right, small cog. Cog wheel? All right, wheel. All right, so those and a hand crank. Is that a, is any of those? There's a hand crank. We had one. I can't remember why I made it, but we have one. Okay. Remember to scroll in for a closer look um, at the example images. And what's the next thing? Right, start by place, oh, this is gonna be fun. Start by placing down 10 building blocks shown in a four high step. All right, I'm not gonna read this all out. I will just read this in my head. If you want to pause and have a read or whatever, that's fine, I will probably just cut out me reading it in my head and go to the step. I really feel like I should have this on the other screen or something. Um, or maybe I should just look at the pictures. I think I'll just look at the pictures. Okay, so you've got your 10 stuff here. You've got whatever that is there. Something on both sides and what looks like a, a wheel on top. Okay, let's go outside and do this. And of course, I've got my extra piece on the side here because I just figured it might be too big for um, the house. So I'll put it outside. So, what, that was four on the bottom, three, two, one, three, nope, wrong end. Uh, that was three, two, and one. All right, let me move the rose gold in for my offhand because it's putting me off. Then we have that, which is, is that an encased fan or a vertical gearbox? Could be a gearbox or an encased fan. No, it might be the depot. It looks like it might be the depot. That's yes, the depot goes on that top step. Yep. Um, what are those? Oh, funnels. Those are the funnels. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, okay. Oh, and it says to use the um, the wrench. Yes, the wrench, and then you can change the direction. 
Okay, maybe we need something up against it. Um, where's the depot gone? No, that was the funnel. That was. Did we lose a funnel? I can't tell. I don't know. I'm not seeing it lying around. I hope we didn't. Okay. Um, that looks like a cog wheel. Yes. It's a... No. Or is it the encase fan? Time to read again. All right. That is... So is that the cog wheel? It says on the side. I don't understand. That isn't the side. That's the top. But it looks like... That looks like the cog wheel on top. All right. Let's put you down there. And crank. Put you there. Um, that doesn't look quite right. Nah, don't that doesn't look right at all, but no, that's not it. I'm not quite sure what that is. Um or maybe that is the hand no, that's got a stone bottom. That's got a stone bottom. Do we have anything? with a stone bottom. That just sounds really wrong. Unless it's another deep. Oh, is it another depot? Depot? Oh, it's the millstone. It's the millstone. There you go. Yeah, that's it. It's the millstone. And then the two, um, the two funnels on the side. Grief. All right. Uh, turn off hover. Get something to stand on. Uh, cobblestone bricks. Um, two. Oh, I swear I heard a creeper at that point. Oh. I'm rubbish at this. All right. How about we equipped, equipped, we equip this thing now. Not going to work, is it? Um, episode is on charm, ring, necklace, body. That's head, charm, ring. There you go. Nice, right. Doesn't help with my rubbish flying though. Right, let's go back just a little bit. Um, the brass funnel. Yes. Is that the, yes, I think that's the way it's supposed to go. Yep, that looks about right. Okay, that looks about right. And then we put um, one of the chutes underneath it and the trash can. Chute, trash can. Okay, right. Okay, looking All right, so oh, so we put down the ten blocks, and we should put a cog wheel on the side of the mill. The shaft should be vertical, so the gears mesh together and attach the hand crank, okay, so.
So the shaft should be vertical. Where is our, um, there's the wrench. No, yeah, it said the shaft should be vertical and not the, and not the crank. The shaft should be vertical, that's right, so it's sticking up. And attach the hand crank to the top of the cogwheel. And crank. There you go. Uh, throw in some wheat and turn the hand crank. And then use a bare hand on the mill to extract the contents of the mill. Okay. I should mention this episode is going to be slightly longer because I'm not going to edit out a lot of the, I mean, I'll only edit out the really stupid pauses, but, um, but yeah, it's going to be slightly longer because we're just going to do this. Right. So it said to throw in and then turn the hand crank. How do you know when it's done? Oh, is there something coming out of the bottom, maybe? It's so high, though. Yeah, that's getting cut out. The stuff come, nothing's come out. I'd use a bare hand, but where do you, okay, let's keep going. I can't hear anything though. Or has it all gone into the, it might have all gone into the trash can. Yeah, we might have lost it all into the trash can. Let's take off the trash can for a second. We might have lost it all to the trash can. Right, let's get some more wheat. Because I don't think... Yeah, I don't have enough room in my backpack to... Um, the stuff to go into my backpack. I think it's full of... Um, what do you call that stuff? Snow. Okay. All right, so you can jump. Oh, my days. Didn't I just... Oh, gee. All right, let's do this again. Um, let's try with, with one, first of all. That goes in. But the crank is turning. Somehow I don't think I'm doing this right. Uh, use a bare hand on the mill, which I'm pretty sure to extract the contents. The mill is this. Do I have to shift click? No. It says use a bare hand on the mill. Nothing's come out of the mill. Ouch. Um. Okay, I wasn't expecting that to take it out of me. What else have I got to eat? Uh, fruit crumble. Thought backpack. 
uh candied lemon is there anything wheat or flour baked turnip blackberry juice oh wheat flour it did go in oh there was space all right well i feel like a bit of a noob let's put you there there's me saying it didn't work and it did <laughs> Oh my days, I am such a noob. Okay, so that worked. Um, Step down from the mill, place a depot. On the opposite side, place a trash can. Oh, we did that two blocks down with a chute above it. We did that, didn't we? Okay, okay. Oh, 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 I see, I see, I see. This is the finished product. We should have just done this bit first. See, I'm I'm rubbish at reading. Um, place a depth. We've done that on the opposite side. Place a trash can two blocks down with a chute above it, and you're ready to attach the brass funnels, which you've done. On the opposite side, place a brass funnel onto the mill above the chute and put the wheat seed into the filter for that brass funnel as shown. Uh, shown where? I'm not, oh, I'm just seeing lots of cogs. It's all right. Let's have a look and see if we can work out. All right, which side supposed to have the, the, the filter? Right. Um throw da, 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 one step down, we did that. On the opposite side, place a brass funnel onto the mill and put a wheat seed into the filter for that brass funnel as shown. Above the chute, above the chute, so the brass funnel above the chute, which is this one. How do you a zombie train? How do you access the filter? Oh, okay. Something just highlighted there. Oh, filter scroll. All right. Um, take off that. Can we see? No, we can't see it from here. Hush. Um. Okay. Um. Yes. Right. Uh. Filter scroll. Oh. Um. Oh. So when you scroll. Oh, so you could filter like five things. All right. I need to not be looking at it in order to scroll across. Ah, oh, applied to the brass funnel. What did it say? I oh, know. How do you? Okay. Right. And then on the other side, oh, on the other side, we need the wheat flour. And that's applied. So now, and I'm Trash can. I forgot we took off the trash can. All right, so put the trash can on the bottom. And this time. Now, how do you look at what's in the chute? In the in the depot. All right, 
But you're supposed to put in. No. Wrong thing. You put in that. You crank it. Did it go in? I don't know. Only one way to find out. We've got three on our on our bar. Well, I think I saw something go down through the bricks. I think I saw when it went in. Or maybe you're not supposed to get it from the depot yet. All right, anyhow, let's finish read it. It's probably there anyway. Um, the opposite side. At this point, you can test the system. Okay. Well, it seems to be working because they're not coming back to me. And we filled up our backpack, so it's not going into our backpack either. So that seems to be working. So we can check that. Um, we've done, so we want wooden stairs, a bucket of water, and an encased fan. We've got the encased fan. <sighs> um, we need a bucket. Do we have a bucket in our backpack? We do. All right, we need something to fill up that slot. Or, even better, turn off the magnet. Right, bucket of water. Yeah, water. Do we have water in here? Probably. There you go. And wooden stairs. We have wood over here. Uh, what color wood? Jungle wood? That's a nice golden color. Why are you raining? No, you need to. Why are you raining? Probably because um, I got a phone call. So I had to stay up all night. Well, not stay up. No, that sounds wrong. While I was recording, got the phone call. So I just left the game running while I answered it. Obviously, the video cut. So that's why the video went from me trying to do the fan and stuff in the middle of the night to the middle of the day. But because I didn't sleep, then um, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Because I didn't sleep, we have rain. All right. Uh, there you go. We just want one set of stairs. Okay. Okay, you need some wooden stairs, a bucket of water, and an encased fan. So, this is that. Oh, it's the, it's the screw. Is this thing the wrench that's slowly going round? Okay. Um. So you bring you. Okay. So we need the wand. Right brings it out three um you've got what looks like the gearbox on the end the stairs in the middle and the um the depot all right where's the stairs here's our stairs nope 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 oh God. Right, let's go around up a little, down, and the gearbox that looks like, is the gearbox or the encased fan? Gearbox, encased fan. Let's have a look. Gearbox. All 
Right, maybe not the gearbox. Maybe it's the encased fan. Or you can use the wrench. Yes, you can use the wrench. Case. Yep. Oh, we had it the right way around. There you go. That's facing out. The arrow's pointing in and it's night time. Let's go and sleep. There you go. Hopefully it will stop raining. All right, so we've done that. Um, is to wash it to get the dough and this step extend the building block three steps wide place the encased fan blades towards the depot single gap between and place down some stairs and the orientation shown and use the water bucket on the stairs to waterlog the stairs without it running down yes we've done that All right Right, so now we need another depot. Before moving on, you might want to place some wheat flour on the existing depot, the one for washing, and attach a hand crank to the back of the encased fan and then spin it until the wheat flour turns into dough. All right, um, do we take the crank from up there or do we just make another hand crank? I guess we could just make another hand crank. And I have dough inside. Um, is it? I don't think it's in this system. It's in the other system. Oh, we can make the hand crank anyway. Uh, hand crank. That's that. And then the dough. Uh, there's dough. I have dough in here. But it's... No, it's not there. Is it that one? But is this the only dough you can make? It might have to be create dough. Because if there's create flour... Uh, dough. So create dough is wheat flour and water. Okay, um, get another bucket of water, Shay. All right. All right, so let's make these two here. That's dough. It's a good thing we checked because I would have gone for the Pam's dough because that's what I have made. And then you need the dough. Okay, where does it say we need the filter for the dough? Um, and for, you need a to set this. You'll need a piece. Okay, so we shouldn't have made it in our in our hand. We should have made. Well, there should be stuff in it already. We put the hand crank here. All right, let's just put those steps down for a second. And then hopefully the dough will pop out. Maybe. All right, let's try this. All right, so put in the flour, the wheat, sorry. No, it's got to be kind of over the... No, what's wrong? Yes, you put that in. And that's supposed to... 
Oh, there's particles underneath. Okay, not seeing anything else there. And then... Hmm. I want to be able to see this while I'm doing it, but you can't. That's a shame. Ah. I can't see. I want to be able to see if anything pops. Oh, there was something. I don't know. Oh, the seeds are... There were seeds at the back. We saw that. I think I just picked them up. But there were definitely seeds at the back. But why... Why did they not... I just threw some in. You saw that. I threw some in and it went. I, I don't know. Right, let's keep cranking this. Because we know the flower went in because there were seeds behind it. Maybe it just takes a really long time. Because the... The gravel and stuff took quite a while. And if I stop, does that like reset the process? I don't know. I, what? When it create makes you hungry. Uh, what have I not eaten yet? Um, candied walnuts. Candied sweet potatoes, candleberry juice, and candleberry jelly. Let's, do I have anything else? Yes. I think I've got lots of stuff. Baked turn, turnip. Baked water chestnut. That should fill up everything. Okay, right, so... I don't know... I don't know where... So you can only, I don't know where the, the wheat flour and stuff has gone. Let's just assume it's working. Let's see what happens. Okay. This new brass funnel, which new brass funnel? Oh, okay. Um, Okay, 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 okay. So that, why have we got? All right, so we've got that bit. Oh, there's a, oh, there's another brass funnel below it. No, I'm totally lost now. That first, what is this brass funnel? I don't understand. Because there's one above, so that's the original brass funnel. Oh, I get it. This brass funnel is in front of the depot and this goes into another depot. I don't know why it took me so long to work that out. I told you create is just a nightmare for me. Because, I don't know. Alright, so we put um, depot. Where's the depot? Uh, there's a brass funnel. There's a depot. Um, 
Depot. It's a pity you can't walk up these like proper stairs. Uh, brass funnel. No, it should. Can we? Uh, I know this has got to be painful for some of you guys. Right. So this is what needs. Right, I need to stand up in front of it. Yep. Okay, we got that. And then there's the back with the chute. There's the gear on top. There's a, there's a, that's not a gear, a cog wheel on top. Another cog wheel there. Two cogs on the side. Okay. So from what I've seen, um, I need to add more rotational force. So maybe if I put a water wheel on the back. The back or the side? On the back. I'm guessing. Well, this is, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. But from what I understand, oh, we need to make a, a big, a big thing, a big wheel. It's almost as if the mod pack knew that this was the last episode and they were like, yeah, let's, um, let's just really stress Shane out. Yeah. Because, ugh. right. Um, okay. That was getting creative. We need a water wheel. And of course the game knows I'm getting stressed and it's playing the nice soothing music. Water wheel. Two words. <laughs> Two words that are spelt correctly. Okay. Um, large cogwheel. Um, what can we get rid of? That. Because we don't need that. Gonna have to recharge this thing soon. All right, we want the wheel up as high as no, really, not really as high as possible, but uh, right. That's tiny. Is that wheel always a small? Anyway, right. Um, was it always that small? All right, so if I want, let's see, we want some shafts and some more cog wheels. All right, we've got a cog wheel. We come down, I'm guessing, what am I doing? You put a cog wheel here and you put one there. We put our stuff around it. Uh, that turned off. Now that turned off, I did the right thing. Right, if we... That looks ridiculously large. Uh, 
Thing is, we're jumping too high. And it's, you know. I can't put anything down. Um, I think we gotta put it one block higher. This is one ugly looking thing. But you know what? It's it is what it is. Now which way? I put it this side. Okay, it's not actually doing... Okay, because it's not connected. Not connected. Nope. Alright, why is this not connected? Oh, I would probably need... Like, all right, this is in the wrong place. And I would need like a vertical gearbox or something. So maybe, all right, let's uh, move you from there. Cause that's not going to be able to go at a right angle. Maybe we can turn. Oh, that just took it. Uh, in case, or oh, was that an in case fan we took out? Oh, was that an in case fan we took out or a vertical gearbox? That's an in case fan. I swear we had. Oh, my days there was me thinking increase leap that's got to be good but maybe not okay um so there's that hmm we gotta move it over if we move it over uh vertical gearbox that there take this out but these aren't moving now because there's nothing connecting this to that was that the problem in the first place That might have been the problem in the first place. There was nothing connecting the two. All right, I think this has to... There you go. Oh, 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 it's working. It's all moving. It's all moving. The next question, can we get a sweet roll made? Um, all right, it's all turning, but we don't know if like stuff's moving along. All right, let me try putting a bread on the conveyor belt. Okay, that makes a sweet roll, but then. Okay, so we got a sweet roll made, but it's not actually, that says one, that doesn't, and that doesn't. Okay. How do you clear? All right, filter. Um, do we need an empty hand? 
Maybe. No. Okay. Right, so. That first one is wheat flour. Applied filter. But it's not giving me the option to scroll. And put in a number. Hmm. Okay. All right, let's uh... see. It says filter scroll. That's what it was saying before. Do I have to take it out? Maybe I have to take it out and put it back on. Brass funnel. Okay. Filter. Uh, dough. Applied that filter. Hmm. And there's... Need to hover again. That's not going in. Why is our items moved downward? No attached fans. You need a fan on it? Item moves downwards, so why is it not moving downwards? Unless I have to apply... Oh, maybe that's it. Okay. Um... Now how did we get that information? I don't know how we got that information. But the fans seems to be working because it's blowing the hot air that way. All right, let's try again. Let's try again. Let's try again. Um, that's the shoot. That's how we got that information. The depot doesn't give you any information. And the funnels. Are they pointing in the right direction though? Now I'm looking at the arrows. Um, be pointing down. They're not. That could be the problem. Um, G. Take off G. No. Put back on G. Um, what? Oh, I've got no, um, <laughs> I couldn't work out why I wasn't flying. Okay. Let's go do a recharge. Um, actually, we can use the power on the roof I went and made a basic reactor because I kept running out of power for the um when I was making when I was smelting items ages ago so I made a very I made the most basic of reactors at least we got a bit of power going downstairs all right let's drain you leave you going Blah. okay um right what were we looking at oh yes these yes that might be what the problem is they're pointing in the wrong direction that's pointing that way oh Things are happening, things are happening, things are happening. Um, come round. That's doing something there, I think. Yes! We got bread! 
Oh, brilliant. Oh, that's brilliant. We're making sweet rolls. We're making sweet rolls. Yeah, it was pointing in the wrong direction. So it might have worked before, to be honest. Um, yeah, pick up the sweet rolls. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. We got it done and I had a problem and I worked it out. Took me forever, but I got it done. Is this going to do this forever? How much wheat did we put in? There's like loads. You have to pick it up with an empty hand. You might have to pick it up with an empty hand. All right, is there nothing else? I don't think there's anything else coming out. Wow. Okay. But we did it. That is awesome. Well, I need to come round, take a picture in front of my contraption. And oh, no, I can't do it in front of the contraption. But there is our thumbnail. I should probably take off the um the crank off the top. Let's see if I've got a little bit of hover. No, we just got the stairs. It'll be fine. Not in the fire. Because to be honest, we don't need the crank. There you go. So, yeah, let's take another shot. All of that. F1. F2. And we're sorted. Well, yeah, this is it. This is, this is the end. Let's see if our pack is ready and then we can do a little hover. Ah, oh, we got something in it. That's fine. We don't need very much. So we started with nothing and we ended up with all of this. We've got our fields, we've got our animals, we've got our mob farm. We've got our create contraption to make sweet rolls. And we've got our wither killer. I killed the ender dragon. We got to the overworld. We finished the pack. It's awesome. So, yeah, we're finished. Come down. See if we can find a zombie train. We need a zombie train. I feel like we need to end with a zombie train. And I bet you now that I'm looking for the zombie train, we won't find one. There's a witch. No. There's one zombie. We got a couple of skeletons hanging out. But no zombie train. Oh man, that would have been awesome. That would have been awesome if we could have found a zombie train. No, one lone zombie. You're no fun. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next series. Bye-bye.